Good morning everybody and happy Monday. It is the start of a brand new week. Um, I'm looking very tired this morning. Um, we are starting Monday off oh, into the dark, with a bit of a workout. Um, it's been a while so I'm having a feeling that it's going to be a hard one. Um, hair's looking a bit mental but it doesn't matter because we're about to get sweaty. Dan is just uh, packing down from when I was doing kids parties at the weekend because um, we do a little workout in our dining room space. It's not much of a space, it's not ideal, but we make it work, don't we? We tried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm really annoyed because one of my fitness goals for this year was to be able to do a plank for a minute and to a lot of people I know that's not going to sound like a lot it's going to sound dead easy but I cannot hold a plank full of no money so obviously when I was training at drama school we do the plank quite regularly um, but obviously since graduating and stuff and just being out of practice I can't so I held it for 50 seconds and then we tried to do it again so I could do it for a minute and I did 50 seconds again and I was so angry. <laughs> I want to be able to do it. Apologies because the bath is in the background but this is my bath bomb box so we're going to have a Monday morning bath. And let's have a look because we've just done a lush order. So um, I've decided to start being a bit more economical and use the bubble bars instead of the bath bombs because I get more, you get more bang for your buck basically, you can use them a little bit more. So I've ordered the sleepy one, which looks like this, it smells amazing. Uh, the bright side bubble bar, the comforter, because you have to have the comforter. Blue skies and fluffy white clouds, I think that one's called. And then I can't for the life of me friggin pronounce that one. But it's the new CBD one that they launched. Um, I thought it was called 420. No, that's the bath bomb. Uh. So yeah, I'm going to have a bath. You can see I've broken a little bit of the blue skies off. <laughs> so Dan has... I've, I've just had a read through for an audio murder mystery that I'm doing with a my murder mystery company that Dan and I both work for. Dan, however, has spent that hour that I've been doing that playing a particular level on um, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. This is the result. I've done it. <laughs> if you, it's Vector to the Heavens from three, 365 Days Over Two. Just, oh, if you play, if you play Melody of Memory, you'll know or which mission it is, but oh my God, it's done. It's done. If, if that was the hardest mission in the game, I'm done. Don't want it. It's done with. I'm gonna finish the rest of it, <laughs> but oh my god, that was wow! Oh, good, good morning to you too. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Tuesday. And today we've got quite a busy day actually. Dan's got a self tape to do. He's got to sing a song and do a dance for a film. Um, and we've also got a monologue each that we need to film. And um, we're having a bit of a tidy day today because um, the office is 
well, there's just crap everywhere. And um, yeah, busy, busy day. What a song are you doing? Uh, Run Away With Me by Kerrigan and Louder Milk. Ooh. I'm going to go away now so you this can This is record. where everybody who watches either goes, Oh, I love that song, or I what? didn't know that one. <laughs> I'm going to go away now so you can record. Yeah. Second time. <laughs> so, Dan's got an early anniversary present um, that he knows about. And we think it's arrived in the post. If this isn't it, it's going to be like the shittest unbox ever. Ever. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was arriving this week and he knew about it, so I didn't, I think we mentioned this at the end of last week's vlog, um, he knew about this, so I didn't want to be like, lol, you can't open it. So I'm hoping that this is it. <laughs> <gasps> They've included stuff. Oh my god. Star Wars Rogue Leader. Nice. Pokemon Coliseum. Nice. We love it. We love to see it. It didn't say it came with no, games. No, it didn't say it would include anything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look how pretty it is. Mm. Controller. These must be the leads and stuff. Does this mean you're going to want to trust this out this afternoon, Bob? Yes. <laughs> Got a GameCube. <laughs> you a happy boy. Yes. Happy early anniversary present. Mm. And now mm. we also have a memory card on the way, so we don't have to worry about that. And what um, else do you have on the way? Resident Evil 2, the GameCube version. Of course you do. <laughs> so excited. I am a child. <laughs> What are you doing, baby? Doing another GameCube. Yay! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to edit the vlog and Dan is going to sit here and play Star Wars. And play Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There he is with his marigolds on. <laughs> what are we doing? Making pancakes. Well, Charles making pancakes whilst I'm Yeah, pancake time. attempt. Oh, quite a successful one. Give that a solid 9 out of 10. <laughs> How do you deal with this rating? I'm, I think it's good for a first flip, but I think I've got I think I've got more in me. Mm. I've trained a long time for this moment. Now Charles been about to do a proper flip. Here we go. Here we go. Ready. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um <laughs> so a half success I'd say. Hey, I rescued it, look. Still a pancake. What's the verdict on the uh very good. pancakes? Very, very good. <laughs> what have you got on them? Uh just lemon and sugar. Correct. Hello! Hello people. It is Wednesday. You're gonna do a repeat of last week. It's Wednesday, my dudes! Ah! It's Wednesday. We have had a busy start to the morning. I've had to record some stuff for an audio drama. Um, we've had a few emails to send. Dan's had. Dan's been put up for something um, that's filming next week, so that's exciting. Um, we almost got a PlayStation 5, but we won't talk about that. Argos. I, like I said, did some recording, and now we've got to go and do a little bit of shopping. So yeah, we're going to go and do a bit of a food shop. I've got to pick up some things that I can take to set. 
tomorrow because I'm filming tomorrow. Um, that's going to be a surreal experience, being back on a film set. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the supermarket now. At Christmas, Mum brought us both some candy kittens sweets and she got our names put on the tins. So when we go and buy pick a mix, we just reuse the jar with our names on. Hello. Hello, darling. Are you okay? Yeah, so you. Yeah. We've had um, a day of good news, haven't we? Yeah, we've been, we've had a good, we've had a good day of just things in general. Yes. We've, um, what are you doing tomorrow? I have got to go for a Covid test because I have some filming doing, or well, there's filming that I'm doing next week. So, mm -hmm. no, obviously next week coming, which is going to be fun. Uh, Charlie's packing to go to some filming tomorrow, which she's excited for. Yay! And we've just had a day of nice... Nice things happening. A lot of um, stuff has either come in the post or stuff that's made us happy, or we've just had a general day of like nice work coming through and yeah, stuff. Nice stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got an interview booked as well. Yes, we had an audition work. slash interview booked so, for um, some work as well for both of us, which is nice. So if you're sort of struggling like we kind of were, just keep going because it will work out in the end. What are you playing? I'm playing Batman Arkham Asylum. Still. Still. A game, <laughs> a game that I've notoriously played countless times. However, something fun did come today, which I won't, which I can't play until I get a game memory card for it. But yay! <laughs> so, like I've said, notoriously, I am a massive fan of Resident Evil. Really? You never mentioned it. No, I don't think I ever do. So, as Dan said. I am filming tomorrow so I am just packing up a bag um, to take with me because of Covid um, they've asked me to take my own costume bits um, the characters just wearing like jeans and a plain t-shirt so with Covid safety and everything they've just asked me to provide my own stuff which I don't mind because it's stuff I've got and whatever so um, yeah that's fun uh, so I'm packing up a bag just got some stuff to pack up and um, and we're going to have a nice tea and chill out this evening. Liffler, what are you looking for? <laughs> well, well, he's in. Are you stuck? Good morning! It is Thursday. This is not a very flattering angle, I'm just trying not to get in the way of your driving. Um, <laughs> exciting day today. Um, I'm off on a film shoot and uh, Dan's very kindly driving me to my film shoot and um, then he's got to go for a Covid test. Not because we think he's got Covid but he's got he's contractually obliged to go for a Covid test for some filming that he's doing next week so you get to run about and do some sword fighting and stuff next week don't you yes. which is exciting so um part of the contract is he's got to go today for a covid test tomorrow he's got to go for his costume fitting and then monday he's got to go for a second covid test before he starts rehearsals which is very exciting um so yeah i'm a bit nervous about going back on a set are you about next week i mean not, not as much as I think I should be, but I'm always, I'm always trying to be quite zen with these things, don't I? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous just because um, the company I'm working for today, I've not worked for them before, although I've got a lot of friends that have worked for them and say they're lovely. Um, but yeah, I think it's my first kind of bigger shoot since kind of Covid happened, so I'm a little bit apprehensive but I'm sure it'll be fine. So we 
you just watched UK Drag Race. I'm gonna try to keep this brief. How the fuck did they not love a horror snatch game? How did nobody pull up sister sister for not only copying a horror's look last week, but this week copying Lawrence Cheney's look? How was sister sister safe? to the elimination. Also, Tace's Snatch Game was not that good. I don't understand what they were watching because it wasn't what I was watching. And um, no, no to the elimination, no to the bottom two. Sister Sister needs to go. And that is all I have to say on the matter. What is your opinion on this week's episode of Drag Race? I would like to stay out of this. Same way I would like to stay out of every, every political debate. I think a lot of the eliminations this season have been interesting at best and I feel like the editing especially on the show it part of me feels like the judges are laughing at bits that we are laughing at but the way that editing is portraying it it's very polarizing However, I do agree that some queens need to step up their game because... They are coasting. They're coasting by on... being safe. Not standing out, but not falling behind. And right now, that shouldn't be the case. Now I'm gonna go play Resident Evil. Bye! I made it to the police station. Vintage Rosie, mm. happy boyfriend. And now I leave him here for the rest of the night. No, stay with me. Yeah. I stay with you. So, apart from being really annoyed at this week's drag race, as I am most weeks, um, today was a lot of fun on set. Um, had a really nice time, really, really lovely team. And thank you for my darling for taking me and picking me up. Right. And you went for your COVID test, didn't you? I did. And you've got a costume fitting tomorrow afternoon, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. <laughs> um, and we're waiting to hear back about an audition that you did, which we're keeping everything crossed for, hopefully. Hopefully it will be good news. It was nice to get back on set today. It's nice that you've got stuff to look forward to for set next week. And we're just going to chill out for the rest of the night because it's been a really good day, but it's also been a long day. So we will see you tomorrow. Hi. <laughs> so it's Friday. Um, I don't know if we've spoken to you yet today, but... Um, Busy day for us. Um, I've had some kids parties. I had my first one at 10.30 this morning and I was tired. I don't know what it was, um, what it is about being on a film set that just knackers me out, but yesterday drained me, but I had the best time. I had the best time being back on set. But yeah, I forgot how tiring it can be. Um, so Dan's been out for a costume fitting today. So that's lovely. Um, he's gonna tell me all about that when he gets home. So I'm sure he'll come and speak to the vlog. But I'm about to have a lovely, nice, relaxing bath. And then Dan's picking up Chippy tea on the way home. Is there anything more amazing than a nice, big, lush bath? Hello, darling. Hello. How was your fitting? It was good. Very good. Someone got a new hairdo. Yeah, that's it, didn't I? It was a bit too long to stand for that time period. Yes, how exciting. So, heck, hello, you. Don't shout at me, I'm not indulging you. <laughs> Shall we go and get our tea? Yeah, it's, in, it's just to keep them warm. It's not your tea, lads. Oh, he's come to say hello to Daddy. <laughs> Hi. So, I had a big pile of washing to put away after dinner, um, which I do thought I'd do when uh, Dan went to play a new game on the Xbox. What that actually triggered was sorting out all of my clothes and having a declutter. 
So I've taken a very overcrowded drawer, taken all of this, all of this out of it. And I now have a nice streamlined organized drawer of tops. I'm using my phone light so you can actually see. This is the current state of my wardrobe. <sighs> Help. I'm not 100% sure about keeping and I'm gonna ask Dan for a second opinion on them. So this is for you Sarah Thomas. Uh. Is the pile of getting rid from the wardrobe. These are my helpers. How was the experience for you? <laughs> You're dead rude. <laughs> I set Rose on you. Oh, She's dear. laughing so she agrees. <laughs> You're dead rude both of you. It may not look like there's been much change but there most definitely has been. I've got rid of a lot of stuff that I don't wear anymore. RuPaul's Good morning. <laughs> it's Saturday. Um, we always start our Saturdays with US Drag Race because we want to avoid any spoilers. And um, That's some bullshit. I thought that I was pissed at UK Drag Race this week. Blood! The US <laughs> right now is all about the money. The Queens don't care about that and the US is thriving because it's drama. Between Tina Burner, Candy Muse and Got Mick, which is which is escalated, it's got more and more and more and more and more about the drama, about people kicking up. Like Tina Burner this week saying that, oh, Olivia Lux might have a bitch in her. She might as well do. But that doesn't mean that that should pay any relevance to it. And Rosé, Rosé, your performance in not only the Rusical, but like the runway was amazing. It wasn't orange, Michelle Visage. Either. But I was like, right. As soon as I saw the Rusical, I was like, right, right, Rosé's run, won this. But this whole thing of, like... Like, Tamisha Aman, she got shafted to the side. Tamisha Aman was was one of those queens that it's like, it's a rare thing where it's just, you are a genuine human being. She's coming back for All Stars, though. And you and if she doesn't come back for All Stars, I'll be fuming. But you, she's a genuine human being, and she's lovely, and she's good at what she does. And she doesn't hide that fact. A lot of these queens are just like, oh yeah, I did this. And it's like, it's it's naff. And they're skating through on the fact of they stir shit. Mm -hmm. They're stirring shit and thing, and the show's keeping them. Because if they weren't in there, it would be kind of what the UK is one. Where, yes, there isn't drama. There's, there's little like shady comments, but it's taken in jest. Mm -hmm. The US one, it's now like, oh, if you're not being vindictive towards someone or trying to stir the pot then you're pointless. That was one of the messiest... Candy Muse's lip sync was one of the most messiest, desperate, crap lip syncs ever. And the fact that RuPaul chose that lip sync as one to keep people as a double chante is some bullshit. Candy needs to go. She is messy. She is unprofessional. She is a bitch and I do not like her and she is she is staying over queens that far 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 deserve mm -hmm. to stay and I'm sick of it. On the flip side, so here for the fact that Denali and Rose finally got some goddamn recognition. Oh my god, it's been long coming. 
so so happy about that good evening lads and lasses as you can probably hear a lot of things are happening right now the bath's running for charlie <laughs> charlie's having a bath because she's finished all her parties i'm gonna chill then we're going to have some dinner some sweet potato curries or just curries in general you've got chicken tikka masala i've got chicken tikka masala you've got sweet potato curry and then i'm going to introduce charlie to the lovely game dead space well he's not played it before no i've played all three of them and mm -hmm. i think it would be a good time to introduce charles to them yeah we're going to play some dead space mm. yeah. We had a kind of bit of almost good news about some work, mm. um, but it's all good. Um, keeping fingers crossed for everything. I think a lot of work at the moment is still pretty Boris dependent mm. to see what Boris says on Monday. Mm. So, Charles, keep fingers so, crossed for us, please, guys. Yeah. So right now, Charles going to go for a bath. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play some of this, mm. and then we'll see how the evening plays out. Happy Sunday everyone, and welcome to another instalment of Dan's Getting Annoyed with Kingdom Hearts. I'm actually not, I'm alright. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is Sunday. Um, I've just had two parties back to back, um, pretty much. Well, we managed to squeeze an episode of The Crown in between, so they weren't quite back to back. Um, and yeah, they were good. Dinosaur themed parties, which was nice. Um, Dan's been playing some more Kingdom Hearts while I've been doing the portals. Um, this is his concentration face. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for a bath and then we're going to have a nice Sunday dinner with Mum and I think we might watch one more episode of The Crown. And then later on I'm going to be recording with the Super Freak Media Girls. I think I mentioned last week that um, I was taking over the podcast for Women in Horror Month, woohoo! Um, so I'm going to be recording with Laura and Sarah later tonight for the uh, the latest episode of the podcast, which will be out on the 28th of February. So if you want to have a listen, available on all major wherever podcasts. You, wherever you get your podcasts. Wherever you get your podcasts from. Hello, guys. So, um, yeah, I had a lovely bath. Um... I, uh, Dan and I and my mum had a nice Sunday dinner and we watched another episode of The Crown because that's our Sunday tradition at the moment. And then, um, yeah, Dan's in the bath at the moment. You might be able to hear The Simpsons in the background. Um, yeah, he's he's got a bit of a migraine brewing so he's gone for a nice bath with the lush CBD blah blah blah. So hopefully that will help. I got dressed. Um, you might think, why have you got dressed when um, you had a bath and relaxed and it's Sunday night? Well, like I said earlier, I'm recording the podcast with the Super Freak Media Girls and at the moment I can't dress up to go out anywhere, so I'm going to dress up a little bit and try and look like an actual human who puts real clothes on. Good evening vlog. Um, hope you're all okay on Sunday evening. Uh, I've just had a bath, <laughs> uh, which is why my hair looks like this. Um, I had a bit of a headache, so... We used, um, well I used one of Charles' bath bombs, it was the CBD one from Lush, it was very very nice, uh, I feel a bit better now. Uh, Charlie's currently doing a podcast, as she talked about earlier, so I'm just relaxing, playing some things, um, just enjoying silence. <laughs> I know that's sort of a silly thing to say, but it's just nice to have that moment of just quiet and self-reflection. Self um, me and Charlotte have been thinking because it's um, not only my mum's but my sister's birthday coming up and obviously due to current state of things we're having we can't exactly do like a big birthday party and um, family round which is obviously unfortunate because it is a big birthday for well every birthday should be quite big for you but um, yeah it's just a bit of a shame that we can't do anything so we're trying to think about presents and stuff I don't know because they're going to watch this when we sort it out in the edit, so love you, miss you. Uh, I've had some news today. A few of the dates have been shuffled around for stuff that I'm working on personally, so um, it's still happening like in the week. It's just the details have been changed and edited and playing a different part and stuff, so it's a bit fun. We started Dead Space last night, so we might carry on with that tomorrow. Um, we're enjoying it. I, I played 
the first one and the second one. Well, I played all three of them actually. I didn't play three a lot because I didn't think that much of three, but Charlie's never played it, so we're enjoying that. Um, I'm trying to think what else we're doing. We're just gonna enjoy. We're gonna. We might start a new series. Actually, I've bought Preacher, um, the first series, uh, which I really like um, because we finished the boys, and I think that the preacher, preacher and boys are very sort of similar uh, in style. So, might start that with Charlie. But apart from that, we're just gonna enjoy time of just calm and relaxing. But yeah, hope everybody's having or had a lovely Sunday and we will keep you updated about what is happening in the week. Okay, enjoy. Songs are worth singing. <laughs> Sing like that because that was awfully off key. Um, there's builders happening. Wow, the there's, yeah, there's builders happening like across the back. Hear it for the outtakes. <laughs> if you could just maybe sort we're, it out. We're, we're good friends with Caddy. Caddy, if you watch this, we're good friends. <laughs> That was the game. It's half past seven. Why do I do this? Why? Send help. Help. <laughs> wow, that was the most unflattering angle. Like, hello. <laughs> 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 